how to get everything in Prodigy. So if you saw the last like two minutes, it showed you how to get the hacks. Now, if you want some good stuff, you should go to set gold and do 10 million is the most. So you should do 10 million and then set level 100. You can set your number, stars, condor cubes, practically anything you want. So I did that. Now I can change name and do anything I really want to. Separate, complete turn, crap thing. And then to get every item, you need to do item stacker right here in amount. 10,000 is what I usually do. And then you do confirm, and yeah, you just got everything in the game. And you can obtain some furniture. I do that. And then um, you can get runes, but it might crash your game. And you can obtain, you can obtain all mounts. And I have a, I have a world a dancer. I don't even know who you are. Well, good thing you're on a YouTube video. Be proud of yourself. Okay, let's give her some claps and comments, y'all. Okay, um, yeah, you got some confetti. Yeah, here's a firework for you. Okay, back to back to the hacks. So you do that. You get all that. You can obtain all the mounts. You can get all the pets, legacy epics, mythical epics. And when you do this, you got to fix battle crash and then what i do is disable math 20 walk speed disable monitor counters skip enemy turn enable resizing and then toggle clip teleporting and you can do disable and active kick for if you want to never get signed out again unless you do it manually but this is what i do for it and um yeah, that's how you get everything in Prodigy. Um, now let's get to the different places of teleportation. Cut locations in Prodigy. So, Prodigy has many different things. And some of it was from the base game from a while ago. But they cut some of that. And I'm going to show you that it's still there. They're just disguising it. The new prodigy is actually lying and telling you that that is fake and it ain't there anymore. What I will show you is so wrong that they technically don't know it's there. But with the hacks that I taught you in the first two minutes will actually allow you to go to a cut area that they think is gone, but I have exposed. So if anyone has played the base game a while ago, you could either go over to this area, over here, or over here, and that's where the gems used to be in the old Prodigy version, but the new Prodigy version has blocked that off and made it the central tower place. So I'm going to show you how to get back into it by hacking into it with the hacks. So first you go to the arrow and you want to go to location hacks. So you want to do teleport to map interactive. So you click on that and then it has a teleport zone. You want to go to your house, click the OK button, and then you want to go to exit, go to warden, and then you put put so you go warden okay and then for the x do 400 and then for the and then for the y do 5000 you seven to get that down so then you push okay and then you wait for it to come it's going it's going and you're back to this Sadly, it's unloaded so that you can't see it. But the real thing is that you see this little button in the bottom corner? That is actually a report house for being deemed inappropriate. 
make a report. Do you want to report this house being inappropriate? No, because this is technically the old pedestals. It's just they covered it up with your house. So you did have a house in the base game before, but I think they just cut your house and repasted it on to this area. And it now puts you into the crystal spot. So technically this is a house, but it also is the crystal spot. Even though I can't place it and I can't see myself because my character is now unloaded, I had a thought that maybe if I kind of unloaded my character that it would reverse it and it would put my character back in so I could see it. Like for right now, I can't see my character at all or tap on him. So it is so unloaded that it's broken my game. And I probably can do that with some hacks if I get all the runes, do some breaking about it, maybe spawn in a few mobs or two, battle them. Maybe they would come back in, but I have no idea. So this will be a question that if anyone can answer, put it down in the comments and that would allow you to come out. And since your character was unloaded, you couldn't get out. Well, I turned off that tab and went back into it a few minutes ago and it let me move around in that space and reloaded my character because I think I loaded back into it. So now I am stuck in this house area, which happens in the beginning of any Prodigy game, but is not the actual result. Because if you're if you've ever played Prodigy and you've gone out of here, your house area is over here. So I did some weird glitch out back into here. So now I can't go into the house or anything or leave this place for some reason. But that is just an amazing update and I'll get back to you. Which is cool. And I should either go into the house or go here. So I'm going to try going here and then I'm back here. So okay, I'm back here. There's nothing new. If I go back here, I'm in my house. There's nothing new. So I... So... That is technically an optical illusion in front of the actual, your house. Because there's a little report button. So that is just an illusion in your house, which is so weird. So if I can do a, like a house glitch, I'll come back to you guys. And probably do it.